Welcome one and all to a Minecraft animation tutorial. Here you'll be learning the basics how to make a walk cycle, including refining the movements later in the graph editor. Alright, so first things first, you're gonna need one of these, references. There's a load to choose from from Google Images, just type in walk cycle reference and you should be good to go. It'll help you get a good look on the movements, especially if you're a beginner. So here we have our old pal the Iron Golem, which yes, he will be receiving his next versus Mutant video soon. It's been quite a hectic road, but it's coming people, along with some animations, so subscribe and hit the notification icon for updates on that. Wink. Wait, I, I wasn't supposed to So as you can see in the reference, the walking pose begins with his feet extended outwards. Let's select the bones, hit control tab to switch to the pose mode, and start moving him around with the move tool. Let's lower down his pelvis and move the arms going forward. After you got a good beginning pose, select all the bones by double tapping A and then pressing I to set the keyframes. Now here for the next keyframe, I like to skip ahead a few, let's say three frames and start the next pose. This really depends on your character too. If you feel like you need more spaces between keyframes for a slower movement, then you know, by all means, go for it. As you can see, the pose only has a slight difference from the beginning pose. In this one, he is beginning to rise in the cycle. Repeat the process until you make it to the halfway mark. Here, to make the walk cycle more symmetrical, you're going to want to select only the pelvis and copy these keyframes here and paste them ahead. That way the height and timing are the same as before. Now here we repeat the same cycle as before, except this time we use the opposite limbs. I feel like it's going to be a wee bit fast, so here I'm extending the time between the keyframes just until I get something that I think looks right. At the very end of the cycle, we are going to go back to the first pose. Copy and paste the beginning keyframe to the end. Same amount of spacing. And there you go, now we have a simple, good looking walk cycle. Now, to make this a usable cycle, I'd like to add one last keyframe before the last one, and deleting the last one so that way the next frame in the cycle is going to be the same as the first one. Now while your mouse is on the dope sheet here, hit Control tab to enter the graph editor. Now I know this might look confusing and heavy, but if we click on here and select a single bone, open this menu to the left, selecting to unsee everything and then viewing only one, it's a lot less hectic. Here these lines represent the motion and movement of each respective XYZ coordinate. We can get more into these later in another tutorial, but what you need to do here is make sure these curves are smoothed out. You can use the ARB to rotate the points as well as S to scale them and G to move them. If you can see that some of the points are messing with the curves, you can delete them and then start playing back the animation to see the result.
The more you smooth out the motion, the more fluid the movement gets. And we can see now that the movements are looking a lot better. Now let's make this cycle a little bit more advanced. When walking normally our pelvis as well as our chest rotate. We can do this by adding a rotation on the Z axis and holding control. So that way it snaps to a fixed amount and then move the chest as well along with the head so it's not moving side to side. Repeat the steps that we took before on clearing the curves and looking around to see what else can be moved in. Now to finish making this a cycle you can reuse whenever you need to on the NLA animator. You go down here, click this section over here, up top here, uh, changes to dope sheet. So make sure I select all the bones in object mode, non-posing mode, and then hit this button to compress it. And you're done. Congratulations, you've made your first walk cycle. Now you can use this in any other fashion. So you can use it in during your animations and add it together. So that way you don't need to reanimate it all over again. Hope you guys enjoyed this small tutorial on making a walk cycle. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and let me know what other tutorials you guys want to see. I'm still working on the animations uh, that hasn't stopped including the Minecraft one. It's just that between every other project I got going it's been pretty busy trying to edit everything together, adding the sound, getting the music done, but they will come out soon. I can't guarantee that. Anyways, thank you again for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I think this is the second time me saying this. Anyways, take care all. Bye.